if you can believe it, universities are not banning any speech that claims that men and women are different. I mean, think about it. These are supposed to be the centers of knowledge and higher learning and enlightenment based on facts and evidence. And if you dare say that men and women are different, or even that there's such a thing as a biological man or a biological woman, you are censored. Your, your group isn't allowed to speak. If you're a professor and you say that, you can be fired. I mean, the, the universities are, are so out of control now with the LGBT agenda, which is trying to twist reality and say that, that biology isn't real. This is their whole point. They say biology isn't real. And you might wonder, where is this going? In fact, I've already predicted where it's going. I mentioned this in previous podcasts. Before long, it's going to be a criminal offense, first in Canada and then in America, a criminal offense to say that sexual reproduction is normal, that a man and a woman getting together and combining their genes to make a baby, that's going to be a crime to state that because the, the progressives in charge of the universities and, and increasingly governments, they're going to say, no, 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 no. Only gay sex is normal. Only, only, the, only transgenderism is normal. We're progressive. It's normal to be a, a genderqueer, a drag queen, a, a, a lesbian fairy. Uh, I don't even know what all their terms are anymore. That's normal. Heterosexuality is bad. What that you is uh, men and women sharing fluid uh, to make a, a baby. Babies are bad too. Babies should all be aborted. This is what they want you to believe. It's insane. But this is where it's going. They're going to have, have you noticed how, of course, gay scenes are now invading every Netflix show, every Amazon Prime show, all the movies, just out of the blue. Oh, there's just like two men kissing passionately and sleeping with each other. And this is, see, this is how it works. It's the indoctrination of the culture. They start with Hollywood and they just put gay scenes into every film. Every movie, now, every group has to have a gay character, whether it's like CSI or like an FBI team show. Now, every show has at least one gay character, but now more than one, usually. Multiple gay characters, and they're always having sex with each other. This is being presented as normalcy, while the attacks on heterosexuality are increasing. And the universities are trying to delete knowledge of human biology, human chromosomes, and sexual reproduction. Now, I've mentioned before, as a scientist, sexual reproduction is the basis of the sustainability of the human species. And the LGBT agenda is an attack on humanity. It's an attack on the continuation of the species. You know, sexual reproduction is its so important because it combines genes and it helps speed the process of natural selection. You might wonder, why does sex even exist? Why isn't everybody just a clone? I mean, I mean, there are species out there that clone themselves, but they're very simple life forms, typically, you know, like s simple you know, bacteria and so on, amoeba. Why do complex life forms have sex anyway? What's sex all about? The reason is because it's an evolutionary advantage. It's a natural selection advantage. It combines the genes of two individuals who are part of a species and creates a new combination which is a test for nature and then that new individual the, the baby that grows up then is subjected to the test of reality can this new individual survive can it adapt is it better adapted is it a survivor and if so if it can survive then it can reproduce and thus sexual reproduction allows for more rapid adaptation of any given species and this is what has given rise to you know success of of entire species such as the human race i mean sexual reproduction is not there just for your amusement it's there for a purpose it serves a purpose which is the betterment of the species in other words the increased survivability and adaptability so if you start attacking sexual reproduction and you start attacking males 
and attacking sperm and attacking just the, the very idea that men and women should get together and have families and have children, if you start attacking that, you are attacking actually humanity. You are at war with humanity. You're at war with the key principles of the sustainability of the species, not just humans, but, <laughs> I mean, every almost every advanced complex uh, species on the planet. You know, I mean, I'm, whales, dolphins, right? Horses, I'm, <laughs> almost, well, all mammals, obviously, and many other classifications of animals on, on the planet, of course, use sexual reproduction. It's very, very common, even in simpler life forms. Why? Because it serves a purpose, and that purpose is being attacked now by the LGBT pushers who want everybody to be gay, and they want to demonize biology. They want to demonize normal sex. In fact, they want to change the definition of normal. They want to say it's normal to have anal sex with uh, like two men having anal sex they they say that's normal they say they think the anus exists for the purpose of gay sex well guess what that is not normal vaginal sex is normal and i apologize for being so graphic here but we're talking about anatomy we're talking about the survivability of the species vaginal sex is normal anal sex is not normal and so what we have here is is an attempt to redefine normalcy it's normal for a man and woman to love each other and to engage in sexual reproduction and have a child and raise that child as a family unit. That's normal. All that is under attack by the left, by the LGBT uh, mafia. They want to say, no, it's not normal. And in fact, they want to say even the child is not even born as a gender. And if you think they're born with a specific gender, then you're a bigot. Really? That's funny because that kid was born. I saw, you know, there it's got, it's got either male parts or female parts. That's a male or a female, and the the LGBT lunatics are like, no, 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 that that doesn't. You, you didn't see that. That's not there. That that child can choose at any time whether they want to be a male or a female, and whatever you think you saw has nothing to do with that. Really, that's what you, I mean. These people are insane, absolutely insane, delusional, and dangerous to the species. This is the point. It's not about politics anymore. This is about how do we survive as a species, the continuation of the species. I mean, the human race is one generation from being extinct. If we can't reproduce and ha have children and, and raise children who themselves have uh, engaged in heterosexual relationships and then produce offspring, if that stops, the human race is extinct. Is that what the LGBT mafia wants? Is just the end of humanity? What if what if everybody's gay? Well, guess what? No more babies. What if everybody's just having anal sex with each other all day long? No more vaginal sex because they say that's weird. And then guess what? No more pregnancies. No more babies. No more future of the human race. Wow, that's really progressive. Extinction is progressive. Why wow, you liberals are brilliant. If you get your way, there will be no more offspring of the human race. Wow. That, but that's how insane they are, see? And that's why, by the way, the whole thing is a fad. The whole, the whole transgender thing, in 10 years, we're going to look back at it as like, people are morons. How could you think that you could magically wave a wand over your crotch and turn from a man into a woman? That's stupid. You're disconnected from reality. And if you, if you don't come back to reality, there's not much that other people can do to help you. So come back to the real world. Where chromosomes matter. Genes matter. Junk matters. Biology is real. Men and women are different. And uh, heterosexual relationships or sexual reproduction is perfectly normal. In fact, it's required for the continuation of the species. If you want to read more about this, read my website, naturalnews.com. This is Mike Adams here. And uh, j just as a final thought, you know, I'm not attacking individuals. Uh, their liberty or their freedom to be whoever they want to be. But it's when they push it on society that it's dangerous. And society needs to have men and women and families and newborn children and raising healthy babies. Otherwise, we don't have a future, period. End of story. Thanks for listening. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. 
Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.